Hello dear students. Welcome back to Naughty Skill Center online classes. Myself Namami Chankakati, your course trainer, and today I will be discussing on the continuation class on tools and equipment from the core module basic housekeeping operations. As you all know, in my last class I have discussed three basic manual equipment which are used in housekeeping. So in today's session I will be discussing the rest of the topics which are again very important and used as tools and equipment for housekeeping cleaning services. Before starting today's session, let's do some recap and recall the topics that have been already covered. They are brushes used in housekeeping, basic parts of a brush, types of brush, then we have discussed about the brooms and its various types. Thirdly, we have discussed about the box sweeper. And finally, we have discussed about the care and cleaning of brushes, brooms and box sweeper. Now let's start with today's lesson. After completing this lesson, you all should be able to Number 1. Identify some of the commonly used manual equipment that can be found in the hotels. Number 2. Describe the purpose of this equipment and how and when they can be used. And number 3. Explain how and why this equipment and tools are to be maintained. So the first manual equipment that to be discussed in today's session is dry mops, also called dust control mops. A dry mop or dust mop is designed to pick up dry, loose contamination such as dust, soil and sand from the surface of the floor. It consists of yarn or microfiber and can be used as a first step in cleaning a floor. The dry mop can in many instances replace a broom and has the ability to hold a limited amount of dust or sand within itself. These mops generally consist of a handle to which a metal frame is attached. The mop head is either inserted into the frame or stretched over it according to the type. There are mainly four types of dry mops which are used in housekeeping. They are mops with impregnated fringes, impregnated mop sweeper, static mops and disposable mops. Mops with impregnated fringes. These mops consist of dense cotton fringes inserted into a metal frame. The mops are usually pre-impregnated which means they are already soaked or saturated with a substance and if it is not done they will require impregnation by soaking in or spraying with mineral oil or a synthetic impregnating fluid. The dust is held on the mops by the oil. Impregnated Mop Sweeper These mops consist of a double hinged frame and those are also called V sweepers. These mops can be pre-impregnated or may require impregnation before each use. Following impregnation, sufficient time must be allowed for the mineral oil to cure the fibers else the mop will leave a film of oil on the cleaned surface due to improper curing. It should be worked in long even strokes in a continual movement keeping the mop head in contact with the surface all the time. This way maximum dust collection and minimum dust dissipation is ensured. Dissipation means disappearance. 
Next is static mop. This mop consists of acrylic, nylon or polyester strands fixed to a backing stretched over a metal frame. Acrylic fibers are electrostatically charged to attract dust. These are great for commercial premises and suitable for tiles and all hard surfaces. Next is disposable mops. These mops consist of a handle with a soft pad at the end, onto which cheap cotton or a synthetic material is affixed. The material has a property which can attract and hold dust easily. The fabric is disposed of after each use and replaced back immediately. Although very expensive, due to the constant replacement of the head, they are extremely hygienic and are particularly suitable when infection control is required. That means these mops can be used in hospitals a lot. So now, how will you take care and clean these dry mops? These mops should be shaken well after use in outdoors. The mop heads should be easily detachable so that they can be frequently washed in hot water with detergent. The clean mop should then be tightly squeezed out, shaken well to get rid of excess moisture and let to dry in open air under sun. Once they are dry, these mops need to be re-impregnated. Next manual equipment to be discussed in today's class is wet mops. A wet mop, also known as a moist mop, is used as in the second step in the cleaning of a surface. The wet mop is swept over the surface to dissolve and absorb fat, mud and dried in liquid contamination. Now let's discuss the types of wet or damp mops which are used in hotels. They are number one do all mops, number two Kentucky mops, number three sponge mops and number four squeezy. Do all mop. These mops consist of cotton strands of twisted cotton to a circular metal plate which in turn is fixed to a stock. They work well to clean up small messes and to generally mop your floor. Next comes the Kentucky mops. These mops are mostly found in the hotels. These mops consist of cotton strands fixed to a length of cotton fabric which in turn inserted into a flat metal stock. These mops are used for wet cleaning of large, hard and smooth surfaces. Kentucky mops are even more absorbent than the do-all mops which I have mentioned above. Another good reason is that they are machine washable. Person can able to take the mop head off of the mop and wash it up. Next is sponge mops. These consist of a cellular sponge fixed to a replaceable lever controlled head hinged for wringing out and attached to a long handle. Using a sponge mop is one of the easiest ways to wash a hard floor. Short handle sponge mops are also available for cleaning windows. Next is squeezy. A squeezy consists of a long metallic handle and a wooden or rubber blade to remove excess water from a surface being cleaned. It is mostly effective when followed by mopping with a damp mop. 
A smaller version called the window squeegee is used for wiping away the water from windows after washing. Bucket Mop Ringers This piece of equipment consists of a mop and one or twin buckets with an attached ringer all mounted on a trolley with caster wheels so that it is it can be easily moved to one place from one to another it may have a provision for holding cleaning agents as well as a trash bag now comes the cleaning and care of wet mops Mops should be taken outdoors after use and shaken well to remove excess moisture. Then these mops may be washed in the same way as dry mops. Detachable heads are easier to clean and maintain. However, drying is the most important part of mop care as bacteria require moisture to multiply. A disinfectant to discourage their growth is effective only for a short period of time so leaving them damp means letting more germs breed they should be stored in such a way that air is allowed to circulate around the mop head the sponge head should be stored by hanging so the next topic which i am going to discuss now is about dusting clothes this is a very uh, commonly found tool which is available everywhere. People use it for cleaning purposes at homes, offices, etc. etc. Various clothes are used extensively in wet and dry cleaning by housekeeping staff. For efficient and correct uses, clothes may be color coded and the staff well trained in their uses. Cleaning the clothes may be of duster, swabs, floor clothes, screen, glass clothes, rags, polishing clothes, wet clothes, and chamois leather. Dusters These are meant for dusting and buffing. Soft, absorbent, plain, or checked cotton material are ideal for dusters. When used for damp dusting, they must be sprayed with a fine mist of water or dusting solution. Dusters must be folded several times into a hand sized pad before use so as to provide a number of clean surfaces and avoid spreading dirt again to a clean surface instead. Swabs and wipe. These are all purpose clothes made of soft absorbent material they are used for wet cleaning and damp dusting of all surfaces above floor level they are also used for cleaning sanitary fittings such as bathtubs and wash basins wipes include loosely woven or knitted cotton clothes and non-woven clothes synthetic sponges may also be grouped under this category they are available in various sizes and shapes. Sponges are better than other clothes for washing walls, glass, woodwork and upholstery. Next comes floor clothes. Floor clothes are bigger, thicker and made of coarser cotton material than all-purpose swabs. They are used to wipe WC pedestals and remove spills from floors. Next is chamois leather. Real chamois leather is the skin of the chamois goat antelope. But now various cheaper imitations are available in the market. These simulated chamois leathers are usually skivers that is split ship skin. Chamois leather can be used wet for cleaning windows and mirrors. When dry, it is used as a polishing cloth for silver and other metals. It is also ideal for wiping squeezy blades. 
Next is rags. Rags are disposable clothes or discarded clothes which are usually obtained from the sewing room or bought by the sack from tailors. They are used for applying polish or strong cleaning agents and are disposed of when dirty. Polishing clothes. Polishing clothes are pieces of flannel. They are mostly used for buffing the surface for shine after being applied by the rag and cleaning agent. Next is dust sheets. Dust sheets are made of any thin cotton material being about the size of a single sheet. Discarded bed sheets or curtains from the linen room are ideal for use as dust sheets. They are used to cover floors, furniture and other articles during spring cleaning or decorating. Next is how will you take care and clean these dusting clothes. Good care of cloth is important for efficient cleaning and longer life. So for dusters, uh, we need to wash, rinse and dry thoroughly after use. If clothes mittens are impregnated with mineral oil after washing, keep them covered or they will attract dust. Then for swabs and wipes, we need to wash dusters in hot detergent water, rinse and dry thoroughly after use. Those used on WCs should be disinfected after washing. For shamwas leather, if not maintained properly, leather gets cracked and is damaged easily. Remove the excess dirt from it with newspaper. Wash only when necessary in plain cold water. Rinse and either store damp or dry, flat. When dry, rub to soften the leather again. Next important tool which is found in housekeeping mostly is spray bottles these are lightweight containers that deliver a fine mist of water or cleaning solution through a fine nozzle particularly used for spray cleaning it is essential that the nozzle is properly adjusted and free from any blockage the nozzle must be maintained clean by spraying clean pure water through it after use Lastly, the very important tool of housekeeping to be discussed is about hand caddy. Also called cleaner's boxes, these were originally made of wood or metal but nowadays usually made of plastic. They consist of a box with a handle and a fitted tray. They are used by room attendants for carrying cleaning supplies from room to room for guest room cleaning. After each shift, they must be cleaned and topped up with replacement supplies for use in the next shift. So my dear students, this was from today's session. I hope you will have understood and learned something from my presentation. In case you have any doubts or queries in your mind, you can call me up or you can text me. I will be really happy to help you all out. Once again, thank you so much for watching my video and have a great day.